Hello there. How are you doing? Uh, I just had a random idea uh, to do this video, basically showing people how to connect a synthesizer, uh, you know, from their synth to FL Studio uh, via MIDI and audio. Because the first time I did it, I had no idea what I was doing. And maybe some, I don't know, 15-year-old kid is like, how do I do this? So <laughs> I'm going to show you how. It's very simple. NFL. So a couple things you're going to need. First of all, you need a synthesizer. Duh. It could be like an analog synth. Like right now, I'm going to use the JX8P. It could be Mod X or Roland Phantom. Um, some of the newer keyboards and synths are going to have USB MIDI connection, which is really handy. But we're going to be using the classic 5-pin uh, MIDI connection. So you're going to need... First of all, your synth, obviously, you're going to need a MIDI cable. Um, you'll just need one if you just want to get your sound into FL. And if you want your keyboard to control FL, then you'll need two five pin MIDI cables, right? And um, then you're also going to need an audio interface. This is really important. This is some people are like, really, I need to buy a whole separate thing. Yes. Because laptops don't have a MIDI connection usually. You know, uh, if it's a newer synth, they'll have USB. But most computers, period, are not going to have a MIDI port. You need an audio interface also to record into. Uh, you know, I don't care what kind of computer you have. You're not going to have high quality preamps. So that's where an audio interface comes in. A really great one I recommend is the Complete Audio 6 by Native Instruments. That's like... You have a surprising amount of flexibility with that thing. It's only like 250 bucks. Um, the one I'm using today is the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre. It's a little over the top with the amount of channels this thing has, but it is, you know, solid. Um, you just got to make sure your interface has MIDI because some don't, oddly enough. And um, another thing to remember, if this is a stereo synth, meaning if it has... Um, left and right for like chorus and effects like that, then your interface will also need two inputs, right? At least. So this wouldn't work with a Scarlet solo, whatever that thing is called. Um, so the basic signal flow is, well, there's two things. So there's audio and there's MIDI. Those are separate, right? Uh, MIDI is just the language, right? The language of the notes you're playing to get that into your DAW. It has nothing to do with audio. Audio, you're going to need, uh, you know, quarter inch TRS cables or guitar cables, whatever you want to do. Um, hook them from the back of your synth directly into your um, interface. So let me show you how I'm doing this. So let me turn on the camera here. This is a very lo-fi webcam. It's actually really crappy. But here's what I got going on. So. Uh, I've got left and right here, and it'll say output, mono, and then here's the other one. And then I've got MIDI in and MIDI out, meaning I'm not only am I sending the MIDI information from the synth to my DAW, I'm also controlling my DAW with the synth. So if you just want to send the information from synth to DAW, that's MIDI in. And if you want to control the synth, uh, sorry, if you want to control the DAW with your synth, that's MIDI out. So I've got these two. They're going in the back here, my interface. And then this uh, MIDI in is going into over here, uh, into this here, which it says MIDI out. You can't see it. And uh, Right, so in and out are here. So I'm connected. I'm fully connected. This is the JX8P. And I know this is like a terrible camera. So once you're connected... Oh, another thing you might want to check before you do this. Turn this back on. Let's make this bigger, actually. Make this screen bigger. Nice. Um, so your synth is probably going to have... Uh, what do you call it? 
a MIDI channel that it's assigned to, it's usually one. But if you want to check, usually your synth will have parameters, right? So for example, uh, master tune MIDI. Let's click on MIDI, see what that does. MIDI, okay, so right here it says MIDI channel one. So that's confirming that we're on MIDI channel one. That's important. Okay, so let's turn this off. So now, in your DAW, in FL, we're going to go to Options, MIDI Settings. And you're going to select for Output. Remember, the input is going into the output, right? Go to the Focusrite USB, because that's what I'm using. And select the port. So in our case, the port is, port is going to be 1, excuse me. Um, if it was 2, you'd put 2, right? And now you go down here, and you're going to select in your list of plugins, MIDI out. Where is that? Here we go. And all you need to do is just find that channel, MIDI channel 1, port 1. So when you do this, uh, you're not going to hear anything. Well, I, I will hear something, but, um, but you know, you should be able to like with your typing keyboard play this thing and audio should come out of it. So, and then to, in order to get audio in to your DAW, you just select your inputs. So I'm in three and four, you know, or if it's a mono synth, you just do one or two or three, but I'm using stereo. So three and four. Okay. So now check it out. I can go here. Right click, piano roll. Magic. It's magical. Whoa, 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 it's magic. I can't sing. That's the dystopian future remix. Um, yeah, but so those are the connections, and that's for any synth. Any synth with MIDI. If, for whatever reason, if your synth has USB, you'd go to MIDI settings, and then for output, it would say something like, you know, Yamaha, whatever, or Novation. I have a Novation uh, base station, right? I can use MIDI, I can use USB MIDI, and it will pop up here, the driver. So if you're having trouble uh, setting up your keyboard, hardware, or synthesizer, uh, with uh, FL Studio, the first thing I would check is on your actual um, synthesizer panel. Like I showed you before, how you can check MIDI. Make sure it's set to MIDI channel 1. Um, it doesn't have to be 1, but that's usually the default. And if it's not, that could be that the guy before you who was using this thing, who knows what kind of MIDI wizardry he was doing. Maybe he had it set to channel 5, like a complete psycho. I don't know, okay? But um, check there first. Make sure it's MIDI channel 1 on your synth. Then again, go in here. Go to MIDI settings. Make sure you're set to your interface's um, MIDI, right? You don't want to be on Microsoft Sound Mapper or Wavetable and other stuff. You want to make sure you're set to your interface's MIDI because that's where it's connected to. Um, and uh, here in the, excuse me, what did I do here? Here in the uh, channel, the MIDI out, the port has to be one. Uh, not this. This just leave that alone. The channel, leave that alone. But the port needs to be the, the port needs to match the number on your synth. You see what I mean? And the number here. Uh, this guy. So as long as those match, that means you can play your synth with your crappy typing keyboard if you want to. And if you're still having trouble, I would look into the cable, possibly. Could be a bad MIDI cable. Or sometimes you might have to turn your interface on and off. I've had to do some weird things to get it to work sometimes. It's, it's weird. Also want to point out that uh, if for whatever reason, if you don't have a hands-on controller for your synth, like the JX8P, for example, does not come with its own 
knobs and sliders, right? And you want to edit this thing without doing it the really old fashioned way. There's a really cool program. It's called uh, Controller. It's like an open source MIDI um, community, basically. And uh, people make panels for specific synths. I had one for my Alpha Juno. This one's for the JX8P. Uh, for, oh, for the Organics mod, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so like you can use this in your DAW and like automate parameters. It's actually really cool. So that's another way to, uh, you know, adjust your your controls. Let's see, there's another one. Uh, oh, they, make, they have more than one. Let's see, what's this? Well, didn't load. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't like this interface so much, but hey, you know, maybe that's, uh, that's what you want. But uh, I hope this was helpful just showing you, first of all, how to set it up. Um, again, that's... There's two connections, so you need audio from your synth to your interface, standard TRS cable. Uh, then you're going to go MIDI in of your synth to the MIDI out of your interface. That's to get the notes from your synth into your DAW. And then MIDI out of your synth into the MIDI in of your interface to control your DAW with your synth. And then again, you got to make sure, go up here to MIDI settings. Make sure you're selected on your interface's MIDI out. Uh, make sure it's on one or whatever the MIDI channel is that you've defined. And then you'll uh, make a MIDI out here in your channel rack. And just make sure it's on one. And now should be able, well, does oh, I see why. <laughs> Sorry. Great, so now you can control this. I need to turn on typing keyboard. Now you can control this with your piano roll, with another keyboard, right? You know, so a lot of possibilities. Hope that was helpful. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. I'm going to make more synth content for all these synth boys and girls out there. But uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>